The Clay County School Board is planning to take legal action against the Clay County Commission. Action News Jax first reported yesterday that commissioners voted unanimously to send the half cent sales tax referendum back to the school board. Action News Jax, Jamarlo Phillips has been following this story for us all day. Jamarlo joins us live now from Orange Park High School. School Board Vice Chairman Janice Karakis doesn't believe the district should have to wait another year to improve schools here in Clay County. We're here at Orange Park High School. And if you take a look on the wall right here next to me, you can see this plaque showing you that the school has been sitting here since 1970. And if you take a look across it, you can see the words are now fading. Our attorney is presently exploring the legal action that we will need to take. Clay County School Board Vice Chairman Janice Kirikis is disappointed. We need to stop kicking this can down the road and we need to move forward with a special election so that we can start collecting revenue immediately as soon as January 1. On Tuesday night, Clay County Commissioners unanimously voted against holding a voter referendum on a half cent sales tax this year. Instead, commissioners want to hold that referendum in November of 2020. Commissioner Gavin Rowlands fears a lower voter turnout will happen if a special election is held this year. They're not used to having a special election in November of 2019. No other elections are held in November of 2019. And so why not put it on a, a normal election ballot? But Garrigus says it's clear the repairs at schools are desperately needed. We need to maintain a perfect school district and our children deserve better. We need to take politics out of this and put our children first. Some parents agree. 2020 is a long time. I think our kids actually needs the type of education that requires. I think sacrifice needs to be made. So again, it shouldn't be something that should be put off for a later time. The district says it needs $318 million to repair and renovate schools here across Clay County. There is no timeline on when that suit will be filed. Reporting here in Clay County, Jamarlo Phillips, CBS 47, Action News Jacks.